Hi, so in this video, I want to go through Avogadro's number. So this is when we can relate moles to the amount of things. So the triangle is the number of moles, is the number of your things. So the things that we're talking about are very small things. So there might be atoms, ions, uh, there might be electrons, photons. So we're talking about the number of very small things and Avogadro's number, which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23. So that's a fixed value that you can, you will always know. So we can use that fixed Avogadro's number to relate the number of things and moles quite easily. So let's look at an example. So how many moles of carbon are there in 2,500 carbon atoms? So I've got 2,500 carbon atoms and I want to know how many moles of carbon are there. So I can relate them directly. So the number of moles is the number of atoms divided by Avogadro's number. So I'm trying to find out the moles there. So 2,500, it's going to be a very small number, divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23. So pop that into your calculator. Remember to use brackets to separate the the top and the bottom when you're dividing. So it's 4.15 by 10 to the minus 21. So 4.15 by 10 to the minus 21 mole. It's a very small number. Okay, so let's have another example. So this example, we've got 1.25 moles of water molecules contains how many individual molecules of water? So we've got our value of our moles. We know we're dealing with water molecules and we want to know how many are there of those water molecules. So we're trying to find out the top, how many. So we've got our moles and we know Avogadro's number. So it equals our number of water molecules. 1.25, so our moles times our Avogadro's number. So we would get 7.52 times 10 to the 23 water molecules. So that's the end of this little video, and we'll see you next time.